dash fold. Okay, so with the dash vault, um, it's all about placement. So um, obviously we're going to go legs first um, over the vault. So we need to kick both legs up in the air in order for us to get over the vault. Uh, some people actually do, um, to get the confidence over, they start by jumping straight over the vault and then just tap in behind. Uh, so once you've done your feed through, jump over the vault, get used to that, and then um, remember the kick. So we're going to take off uh, a little bit further back than all the other vaults. If we're too close, we are going to kick into the vault. So you want to be nice and comfy distance to kick your legs up and then get your bum over. So guys, if you want to demonstrate that for us. Good. Sweet. Yeah, see, the legs are going through first and then followed by the hands. Um, I prefer taking off one foot for this, uh, just purely for the fact that I can kick start that first foot and then my second foot's going to follow. Um, some people prefer to take off two foot, but um, for me it's a bit more effort. So uh, guys, you want to show the two foot just to see what it looks like. So up, see where he has to really explode up to get over. Um, good. So yeah, those are the two uh, two types of dash that you can try try out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can also like mix that kind of move up, and you can go through, and you can do split legs like that. Like Cole, maybe you want to show him one of those as you come over. You just split your legs open. It's kind of just you know it gives you enough of variation, different look. Um, taking off the one foot. And also, when you're comfy with um, the first couple, it's important to lean back to put that weight on your arms. So if you're upright, your arms aren't going to get on the vault in order to push you back to your feet. So um, when you go back, guys, show us again. So watch the lean. Lean. There you go. Yeah, and then those arms push you back. He's on those back hands quite nicely. And uh, I guess just one thing I would say for this move is... Um, it can be quite hard on the wrists if you don't get the timing right and you because you are jumping over and then placing your hands down to start with just be careful because you can really slam your wrists down on this move if you jump too high if you jump in too high then you're above it and if you come down you're, you're gonna have a lot of impact but like with the experience and a bit of time and practice you'll do as these guys are doing and just kind of flow over it you know the jumps soft and it puts your hands on there nicely there's no kind of abrupt kind of impact with the um, with the object that you're going over it's nice and smooth um, so okay let's look at the next vault 